So today I want to do a quick video on the Z-axis. Now, I know most people probably don't mess with the Z-axis and as this is predominantly a 2D program, and I know you can do 3D elements and import 3D objects into, into Anime Studio Stroke Moho, most people, I assume, only use the X and the Y. So I'm just going to show you one quick, easy application of the z-axis that you guys might not have thought about and show you how I use it so here I have my most recent rig that I've designed and if you go onto my YouTube channel you'll be able to find videos on how I created all of these components and I had a few people asking me how I go about suiting them up and I did show a demonstration on my channel also and people were particularly interested in how I used my levers to suit up my character and particularly the Iron Man one. So I'm going to show you guys how this is done and it's all done using the Z axis. So the way this character is set up is he is actually always wearing his his suit. It's just all of the main components of this character are on if you go to our layer and we've got the X, the Y and the Z these are all on zero but if we look at the armor I've used the z-axis to place it on nine which means it's off the screen however the, the character is still wearing it it's just on the z-axis and I use the same formula on all the components so the main body parts are on zero but the parts that I don't want visible initially are on nine or five or six whatever you want whatever you want to do and then you create a smartphone dial and you just basically use this dial and it brings all of the components back to zero on the z-axis and if we were to look at the components now this is now on zero and if I could just I can't move this because but you can see that the components fly in off the screen and the way I do it is if you go into each component and you can it takes two seconds to complete the whole smartphone action so if I wanted the hip to come on first I have the hip come on at the 12th frame say and so forth the arm on the 18th until everything is done on the 48th frame on the second second so that's one way I use the z-axis slightly different a bit unorthodox but you get quite good results 